In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the saddle in the toe stop project. So I've got um, the front view. I've kind of zoomed in just to the front and the side view of the toe stop base. And if you notice over here, we have a hole coming through. There's actually two holes intersecting each other. So this is a big void over here. Um, the hidden lines stop when it touches this hole and then they start up again when the hole ends. When we look at it over here in the side view where these two holes intersect, whether these are two solid cylinders or two holes, when you have two cylindrical objects that intersect each other, where they come together, they kind of make a little seal and that's called a saddle and it looks like an arc. I'm gonna delete the arc that's here and I'm gonna show you how you can get that saddle. So I'll come over here and uh, let's set do I have a construction line layer? <laughs> I don't. Let's turn on a construction line layer. I'll go ahead and create one now. And I don't know why I always make my construction layer yellow. Just in my head, construction is yellow. Um, okay, so I've set that layer current. I'm going to draw a construction line. So I'm getting to this construction line by, uh, I'm on the home menu or the home ribbon. This is the draw panel. If you pull down that little arrow next to the word draw, you get this option for construction line. You can also type X line. And when we start that, we're going to type in H for horizontal. We need to get a horizontal construction line. So the first the first thing that we'll click on is, is the top quadrant of the, the bigger hole. And then we will click on where this hidden line intersects this hole, where it touches right there. Press enter. We'll scroll across. So if you notice, it's kind of hard to tell because mine is on there. Uh, I have a yellow line covering it. My construction line does, but I do have hidden lines behind there representing that hole that's going through. I'm going to set my hidden layer current. I'm going to do the arc command and I will take an arc from this point and then I'll click to the inner part of the um, construction line and then I'll click on the end point here. Press enter. Oh, I don't have to press enter. It just ended for me. If I were to delete or turn off these layers, you can see that I've got that saddle now. So again, that's just being projected. I'll do an undo because I did delete those layers, but they're just being projected from the quadrant of the inner visible hole and projected from where those hidden lines touch it. So if I were to do that again in this view, construction H for horizontal, oh, construction layer current, got to start the construction line. Um, X line, or you can pull down that draw panel and get to it this way. Now H for horizontal. I've got the quadrant here and I've got where the hidden line touches that inner circle or that inner hole. And then I can delete this out and just draw an arc quadrant here, here. Looks good. All right, I'm going to, there's another one that we have and this is over here in the cleat. So notice with the cleat, we've got a hole that's drilled through here, but since that hole is drilled through, we've got another saddle, it dips in, that hole cuts off that edge right there. So if I were to delete these two saddles and just redraw those from scratch, I would do the same thing. So I've got a construction line, H for horizontal, enter. And we're going to take it, we've got this outermost um, cylinder here. So that's, that's what we would be seeing. And then we have where that hidden line touches it. Same here. We've got the outermost cylinder and then where the hidden line touches it. When we come over here, in this particular case, it's a visible line. So we'll draw a visible arc. We'll do the arc command and we'll click start here, there. Come to this view and we'll start that arc again. Click here, here, and here. Perfect. Now I can turn off my construction layer and I've got my saddles perfectly projected from where this hole intersects that outer cylinder. 
and that's it. Those are the two saddles that we have in this project, and um, yeah, you've, you've got it.